hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Hello. Too early, guys, and too many. <laughs> welcome to the Tarot Closet. Welcome back if you are a regular viewer and welcome if you are new to the channel. I really appreciate you joining me today. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Love Tarot reading. All the links are below, thetarotcloset.com. You will also find the playlists, which are quite easy to reach. All zodiac signs, messages from your person, general Love Tarot readings. Okay. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Whoa, that just flipped right off, you guys. Very clearly yours. Is that yours? No. Okay. Oh, we got your overall energy card, too. Uh-oh. Virgo, it's the devil card. What's going on? It's Capricorn energy. Saturn energy, too. Somebody being naughty. What's going on here, guys? We're going to get into it. In the first placement, whoa. Virgo, it's the Ten of Pentacles. This is your energy. It's Mercury. And Virgo, look what is right below it. It's the Empress, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Okay. So, we can already see here. Wow. Yeah. Here's the thing about this. It's in the partnership placement, of course. It's the major arcana, the death card. This is Pluto energy, which is regenerative, as you know. It's transforming. It's a new start. And here's the thing. Look. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is somebody who is coming back with without so much ego, I want to say. This is somebody who wants a second chance. This is somebody who wants your forgiveness, Virgo. It's the Three of Swords in reverse. This is quite literally somebody who wants your forgiveness. And are they wanting to grow something with you? We got we got to keep seeing what's going on here. I mean, this is the Town of Pentacles. It's the very first card. This is your energy. That doesn't even really matter. It's neither here nor there. But it's pretty clear that this is what's going on. It's a new start and it's the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term energy. But the only way you're going to get this new start is if somebody apologizes and comes without their ego, which is what we're seeing here in the Death card. Scorpio energy. Again, that Pluto energy is regenerative. The fire, you know, that the devil caused. What did this, what did this person do? Because it's the overall energy. It's real prominent and it's a major arcana here, okay? Somebody over partaking in something they shouldn't be, okay? I mean, it's the devil card. And what I'm feeling here is whatever went on really lies within the devil card today. The Pluto energy in the death card, that's after a fire. It's after everything has been well destroyed. And after the fire, it's a really fertile ground. More fertile than it was before and ready for a new start. What does that mean? Well, that's Pluto. That's connected also to mushrooms. They're the first things that pop up when a fire has destroyed the land and it's regenerating. Look who's here to help. The Major Arcana, the Empress. This person is coming way more emotionally available than they were. This is somebody who wants to reinvigorate a connection. And this is somebody who wants to come with the truth. This person wants to speak the truth. Guys, it's connected to both the ending and a new beginning without the ego, with way more emotion, emotionally available, guys, than they had before. And an apology. These are both in the partnership placement. The ending, the beginning, returning without the pride and the ego. You know, we need our ego, but this has been, it's been too much in this connection. It's really clear here. Maybe somebody wasn't owning up to something that they did or that they're doing. That was part of the reason. Maybe it was all of the reason that this Ten of Pentacles was either interrupted 
Maybe this is what you were heading for. And again, it can be depending on your situation. Maybe you're already in it. Maybe some of you even lived in the same house. That won't be for everybody. Regardless, this was interrupted. Whether you were in the Ten of Pentacles, a long-term energy with this person, you were working toward it, you were simply together in some form, talking, dreaming about it, wishing for it. It got interrupted in this person. What did they partake in? Because they're wanting a second chance. They're coming back humble with an apology, wanting to heal and wanting to grow that land with the Empress here to help. And that's a lot of emotional energy that the Empress is bringing to this person who, yeah, I feel was cut off from that. Yeah, so look. A lot going on here. It's the Two of Cups. We're going to look at this in a minute, you guys. Kind of a mess. <laughs> Obviously, it's the Two of Cups. It's Venus and Cancer energy. This is the planet of love. All the emotions that I'm feeling, it's here. Your person still, you're still, you're, you're still exchanging energy. Soulmate, Twin Flame energy for those of you on a Twin Flame journey. It's not a specific Twin Flame reading, but when it comes through, it comes through. So this could be about even talking or just the connection in general. But guys, the emotional energy that they're coming back with, wanting a second chance here, knowing that they broke your heart, that they did something here. Look at this. In connection with the devil card. With the devil card, excuse me. It's three swords. Could there be third parties? Of course. It's three swords. That can mean a third party. Here's the thing. It can be romantic connections. It can be family of origin. It can be work location, cultural differences, religious differences, can be many of those things. It can also be that somebody wasn't clear or somebody was holding back with emotionally, not communicating. And that's very likely with the Three of Swords. That's sword energy. That's what that is. Putting you in here, the heartbreak, the loss, causing some depression. For some of you, maybe this is a divorce or a separation. For some of you, this is simply a breakup or a no contact and or in separation, but it hasn't ended. And look what it's with, the three of pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody who was not working on this connection, guys. And again, it's the pentacles. There's the three again, too. Could it be that there was something going on with that? I mean, it's the devil's card. Look, why were they not giving equally? Because emotionally they're here. The love is here. Perhaps for some of you too, this was on the way. Proposals possibly could have been involved. And this was on the way to the Ten of Pentacles. You know, and yeah, sometimes this can be that there's a proposal coming. So for some of you, it can be when they come with this apology and they come here asking for a second chance with way less ego in the death card. This person, you're very connected to them physically, also psychically. They want to come back and nurture a much deeper connection. This person wants to come back in a higher vibe, emotionally available, wanting to speak the truth to you. So whatever they were withholding or not clarifying, this is all what they want to bring back here because at the end of the day, this was still going on. So could it be that when they're coming with the apology, when they're coming with the death of their ego, asking for a second chance to grow things. The Empress can grow anything and she's in the upright. All her resources are accessible here. Abundance, new beginning. For some of you, this can be that your parents together. That won't be for everyone. And I don't generally talk about pregnancies in my reading guys. That comes through with the Empress. So that might, that might be something for somebody here for sure. I mean, it's here, but yeah. Could it be they want to grow these 10 pentacles and start a family or continue a family or live to move in together, get married, come back together, talk again, all of the above, okay? And the thing about the three of pentacles is for me, this is a lot about what happened. Look, look at the triangle here, the three of pentacles, the three of swords in reverse connecting with the devil, guys. I mean, that's not an accident. This is also a six, and of course, it's, you know, Saturn energy. Whoa, excuse me, guys. And Saturn is causing misery, you know? Also in the Three of Swords, Saturn energy. Saturn energy. 
whatever went on here in the devil's card caused this three of swords and now it's in reverse and this person wants to come back and either restart get into this maybe even taking it there with a proposal the proposal can also be let's talk or hey i miss you i want to send you a message whatever what's your situation it's a message for some of you look you can see it right here i mean it's it's the six of wands this is jupiter and leo energy yeah look at that look where they are also in front of the sun okay which is bringing in the sun bringing in leo also bringing in the source God, Goddess, the universe, divine spirit, listening to this messenger, you can't not listen, look, blocking it, saying, hello, what do you want? Because this is also connected to the crown chakra, and that is thinking about it, finding a solution, and knowing it, and knowing it and finding a solution. It's the I know, guys. It's the crown chakra here, and it's surrounded by the victory wreath here, and it's catty corner with the two of cups a lot of emotion look there's the heart that they broke it's in the upright here so what they did they're really there's a huge apology for it, it was something big i feel because look at the death card so they really things got really jacked up <laughs> for lack of a better word you guys phrase i should say because this person hasn't stopped loving you you haven't lo stopped loving this person look at this big lotus flower healing look at the heart right there between you and look you're talking here or what are you doing here there's a decision to be made look at the healing guys and this is an apology and healing there's a decision here to come and do this and here's the thing about these minor arcana cards you know these are flippable <laughs> i want to say these are day-to-day -day things so this person can be in a spin right now with this three of pentacles trying to get it up here this is a collaborative collaborative energy in particular when it's upright you know coming in and saying coming in in, in a higher vibe which we see here in the death card making that choice to say yeah i want to do this i want to talk more i want to be there for you i want to be in this i want to talk to you whatever it is i'm having some weird throat chakra guys it's in reverse, so we know that was part of this too. And it's also connected to the death card. And it's also what they know that's going to come up in this conversation. Look, this is making a decision to come with that. It's the five of pentacles in reverse, guys. This is hope returning. This is recovery. This is also the five. This is the fifth chakra. This is the truth. The truth. An apology. A second chance. A much higher vibe. A second chance at what? This. The Ten of Pentacles, guys, whether it was interrupted, whether you were on your way, look at that floral wreath reunion energy, or it's simply just what is the Ten of Pentacles to you, you know, because I know some of you are on journey, particular journeys or in connections that you're not even seeing each other. You know, you maybe you're talking, you're resonating. This is somebody here who knows that a lot of this was them. But you're also still tethered together here. That's the other thing. There's not a feeling here of somebody saying, I'm out of here. This is not a feeling. So if you feel like, yeah, no, I'm done with this person, then this isn't your reading. Because it's really super clear for me. Really clear. This can't even be including, yeah, a proposal and getting a house and growing the pentacles. The Empress is here to grow things, guys. To grow things. And she's also here because this person is coming in a really higher vibe here in the death card the death of the ego and bringing emotions that they may have been holding back well yeah i mean it's clear because <laughs> yeah you guys th that's it i mean this is it this was just a really fast reading i gotta tell you i'm gonna bring in some oracle and you know kind of feeling it let's move the energy and let's see if there's anything else that wants to come in then we're gonna bring in the oracle okay I'm not doing love messages or song messages at the moment. I'm just not feeling it. It's the Seven of Swords. This is somebody who's making amends, you guys. Apologet apologetic energy and apology. Making amends. Coming back asking for a second chance. Oh my gosh. It is so incredibly clear. Look at the three swords that they were holding. Here in the Seven of Swords when they ran or when they weren't honest. 
when they weren't honest, which is what's coming here. It's the truth. Highly likely in a message. Very much. This is somebody who wants to reach you, wants to get something across. They also want to win you over, I feel. This is the second chance here, guys. They want to win you over. The Six of Wands is Jupiter energy, but for me, that's also bringing in, well, yeah, making peace with you here. Coming out of the Five of Pentacles, totally just coming out of that and wanting a new start. Returning, restoring hope for this connection. And the Seven of Swords, when it was in the upright, when this person either ran, broke your heart, which we see, look, they're carrying the Three Swords. There they are. This is when it happened. And this death card was there too. And it's still here in the partnership placement because they have not gone the energy. This is coming back in a higher vibe, apologetic energy. This is in reverse. This is making amends. And it can't even be because that's when the Three of Swords happened. They're holding them. They ran off with your heart. They broke your heart. And what else did they do? Were they not clear? I feel like they were lying about something. That's connected to possibly not being clear. Lack of clarity. Somebody else, whatever it is, it's really clear that the devil card is playing a part in this. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, this is just really clear. And by the way, being right below the devil card here, this card that I, more cards that I wasn't particularly going to bring in, is it can also be that somebody got caught doing something too. That won't be for everyone, but what was it? A lie? Another person lying about something? Lying about lying about another person? Whatever it was, this person is for sure coming back here, wanting to grow these pentacles, and the empress is there to help. Caddy corner here, co-creating. Weird, isn't it? But with the death card, the restart, because the empress has to go and survey the damage for this restart, this Pluto energy, this new beginning. For the death of their ego, she has to go and see, well, is this, can I grow here? Is this land fertile? Is there a possibility for a new beginning? So everybody has to make that decision. And you could also be deciding here if this is what you want. For me, this is a feeling of people coming back together. Maybe, maybe you're still thinking about it. This is you here because you're still connected to this person. Maybe there's a little bit of pride going on. It's not what the Two of Cups is about, but it doesn't matter. It's about. It's the lion there, <laughs> you know? Representing the angel. Nonetheless, it's the lion. It's pride. It's ego. This person, too. They're letting it go. By the time they get to you, that ego is, I feel, been dealt with. Because they're coming here in a really different vibe, you guys. Really different vibe. Let's see what's going on with Oracle. And we're going to close your reading. I'm going to move the energy a little more before we before we even get it, okay? Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card. Taho. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Guided connection. Compassion compassionate, loyal. This is somebody who's balanced out their divine feminine and divine masculine energies. Look at the throat chakra even within the wings, you guys. The spiritual connection. This is somebody who you've also been loyal to this person. So yeah, is there some underlying, I don't know about anger, but maybe for some of you, because I don't, it doesn't feel like they're going to have a straight shot, you know? But you're both still here. There's a loyalty between you in some ways. I'm surprised that we didn't see the Six of Cups because that's the feeling for me. But this also connects with the Moon card, you know? Dog and the wolf. Things that somebody wasn't looking at or things that they weren't sharing. Had we seen it here, I would have said to you, this person is, yeah, the truth is for sure coming. I still feel like it is. They just might not be quite there yet. But boy, I'll tell you, yeah, this is really clear for me. Look what is at the bottom of the deck. Blessings. Also grapes. Grapes, guys. This connects me too in many ways to the Queen of Pentacles. Very resourceful. Great at 
finding whatever is necessary to grow new beginnings, just like the Empress. Not as strong as the Empress, but here. This is in a lot of the cards. The main thing here is their grapes, and they're about, well, growth, development, blessings, a blessed connection, luck. And I feel blessings coming your way in this connection because this is somebody who, whether you've been praying and hoping for this, that this, this person is going to get over their ego and really apologize because for some of you, this person may have got caught with something, doing something, you know? It's big for me. Can it be, because I'm hearing for some of you too, it might have involved other people. This can sometimes be like through the grapevine, you know, where there's some gossip around it. That, that will not be for everyone for sure. Particular situations, maybe if this is involving a separation or a divorce. This is, I feel, a blessed connection. And look, there are the two leaves connecting to the heart chakra, but that's also growth. That's growth, you guys. And that's change. And you're both here. You're both here. You're both here. You're both here too when this happened. You're everywhere here. And yeah, there might have been other people, guys. Look at that six of wands. Five of those birds. That's conflict. Conflicting energy. Can be that some kind of truth that was involved in this or lack thereof. We're keeping it. That's yours. <laughs> this just showed itself too. The Sphinx. It's connected to the chariot movement, guys. Yeah, this person has moved their obstacles out of the way. Are you still here? Maybe. But this is connecting with the chariot. Cancer energy. That's the moon energy too. Okay, this just flipped off the top, you guys. Action. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is really... Guys, this person... Things have been illuminated. The conscious to the subconscious. That's the sun to the moon, which comes in for me here. So you can see everything and get the clarity. The truth of what, how they feel, what's going on, what happened. Super apologetic energy. Maybe there's some explanation that you don't know about. Are you putting up your, because these Sphinx, you had to tell a riddle to get through them, you know, to get to the chariot. So it could be also that this is you still here with a little bit of a block. But I tell you, here, the way this just came down, look, the horse from the chariot, there's the Sphinx. Action, ancient wisdom. I feel like this person has is coming back changed person here, guys. Look, it's divine timing. Three horses, growth, communication, and this horse... This is a real particular horse. This is a horse with humility. And this is a horse who wants success here. Reunion energy, of course. And wanting to win you over, I, I want to say, wants the second chance bad. Bad, you guys, and pushing through obstacles. They see it now. My gosh. Not wanting to leave here. You guys, <laughs> that was fast. That's your reading. Virgo. Whoa. Thank you very much for being here. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So you know when any readings are coming that maybe you want to watch. Of course, feel free to share it. All of those things really help keep the channel going, guys. So thank you very much. And I will be going live eventually very often as soon as I get everything worked out internet-wise. So you might want to know about that. So make sure you have your notifications bell on so you get them in real time and on your phone. I always turn them on on my phone and then I just uh, make it so it's silent, you know, but just so I see something is there. Anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. I wish you love, light, all things good. Wow. Have a really beautiful day, Virgo, and I'll see you at another reading. Bye for now.